start to finish, one day build an arcade. There was a brainstorming, planning, and then they had to design a prototype with a group, compromise, communicate, collaborate, be flexible in their thinking and be flexible with their group members, and then um, about an hour and a half to build, and then about 45 minutes to play, and then a 10 to 15 minute wrap up at the end of the day to reflect on uh, what happened in their building process. The butcher paper? Uh, the paint. I'll show you. I'll show you. No. Wait, can we use the uh, ping pong? So we're making a ping pong. Oh, we have our net of yarn there. And uh, we're coloring the ping pong ball, so it just makes it like more colorful and fun. I like it. Kind of getting kids thinking in a different way. We want to see more troubleshooting. We want to see kids working out their own problems. Kids getting frustrated and having to overcome that. Kids failing and knowing that it's okay to fail and that's where our best learning happens. That's what's guided most of my lesson planning is the Jeffco generations and the way that the district is moving because this is what the kids are gonna be having to do in their career someday. Maybe not every single component, but most of the components and in much of the same way. It's going to stay up and we're going to have prizes behind here and then they're going to pay in tickets. All right, what do you need? Oh, I need oh, for a toilet paper tube? I don't have a toilet paper tube, but I wanted them to come in with a specific intention. I need blank. How many? But I didn't want it just, here are all the things to choose from. Grab what you want. I wanted it to be really thoughtful. On all accounts, every single grade level has impressed me with their innovation. You just underhand the throw and then it goes into the points and then there's a box to catch them and you can just put them back into the tissue box. I think what we forget as adults, as these kids, their imagination is at a high point right now. Something that fades a little bit as we get older, it's not. It is right there. They're not afraid to try new things. They're not afraid to do a hybrid of two games together. As I was walking around, they're like, well, can we do these two games and make it both? Yes, 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 I wanted them no limits. You are confined only by your own imagination. They started with nothing. They had to come up with the entire design process themselves. So it's just a different level of thinking and a bit wider in the possible outcomes that you can end up with. Okay, thank you guys for sharing your game.